As you just heard, you are what the advanced technology from Samsung is all about. Your desire for the next big thing, plus our commitment for trying something new, creates a culture with which meaningful innovation can run original products can grow. We started the large screen smartphone movement, and we continue to lead in this area. Our mobile multitasking experience is part of our daily lives, and it will continue to grow in importance. Finally, our original S Pen. It bridges the world of analog writing to digital expression. And all this defines the Note culture. And now, we're adding the fastest network connectivity there is. LTE Category 6 on the Galaxy Note 4. And Note 4's outstanding performance takes full advantage of Google's latest operating system. And we're very proud of our long-term partnership with Google and what that means with Google and what that means for you. OK, let's give the people what they want straight down to the tablet is the best description. But just as the Liger doesn't ask whether it's more lion or tiger, either way, it's great to look at. And it's an extremely powerful beast. It's a great analogy, I think, Rachel. But okay, let's take you through the headline capabilities of the Galaxy Note 4. Design, large screen, and multitasking, S Pen, and camera. OK, then we're starting with design. This is an increasingly important part of technology, and especially mobile technology, because it's such a personal statement using your mobile. Um, so let's see how the Note 4 stacks up, Rory. Um, I mean, straight away, as we saw on the screen, and I can see here, you can see the design continuity from the Note 3. Um, but can you tell us how the design has evolved since then? Well, sure. The first thing to look at is there's a sophisticated update on the Galaxy Note 3. We've kept, however, our soft textured back cover. And you can yeah. check out what we've added. It's something that you're going to love. A beautifully cut metal frame that's stylish and strong. And along with mm -hmm. our 2.5D glass, which we first featured in the Galaxy S3, you can see the beautiful natural curve from the surface tension. OK, yeah, I can just about see that. Um, but let's be honest, you've used 2.5D glass before. So what difference are us as consumers going to notice? Well, actually, we've enhanced the strength of the glass, resulting in this elegant curved display with remarkable durability. You know, that's good news for me, actually, because I'm ridiculously clumsy. I've even run over one of my phones with my car before. Um, so maybe the Note 4 will even stand up to the challenge of having me as an owner. Rachel, challenge accepted. Great, great, so, great. So Note 4 weighs 176 grams. It's 8.5 millimeters thin. And we're releasing it in four colors. We have black, white, gold, and pink. OK. well. Um, it looks and it feels like a great piece of technology. Um, it's a great size, obviously a brilliant selling point for the Note series in general. Um, and I love all the colors, so it gets good marks for design quality straight away. Um, but let's not be too superficial here, because you can't get by on good looks alone, can you? Well, that's why we've improved the Note 4's user interface. It fulfills our vision to make your everyday simpler, easier, and more fun. We've evolved the Galaxy S5's clean and vibrant user experience and brought it all to the Note 4. And we've added a new transparent widget. So now you can access all your information and still enjoy your screen's beautiful background. Yeah, I mean, you can see it up there. And the, the transparency of the widget definitely improves the appearance. Um, I mean, there's a reason you choose the wallpaper that you like, isn't there? So that small change just improves the aesthetic really quickly. Well, well that's right. And the Note 4, you can customize the lock screen background with curated images that are built around your interests, and with your location, and of course, from your personal gallery. Thank you to Yahoo and other third-party contributors for making our lock screens more dynamic with thousands of high-quality images. Again, I like this. It's clearly a change that Samsung has made with the user experience at heart. Um, and it gives you another option to just maybe using cat photos like me. Um, but you did mention interest there, and I hope cats are still an interest that you can have for all those curated images you mentioned. Anyway, let's, let's all, we'll move on. I'll let you get back to me on that. Um, but for now, can you tell me about the new Note 4 screen? Well, based on our screen history, stretching back to 2011, when we created the large screen smartphone category with Galaxy Note's 5.3-inch groundbreaker, incredible displays have always been part of our passion. And our humble apologies for getting this right. <laughs> and Note 4 continues to lead the category with a beautiful 5.7-inch Quad HD Super AMOLED screen, meaning you get sharper, brighter, and more legible image. So whether you're noting, browsing, reading, watching videos, or looking at photos, 
even under less than ideal light conditions, you'll still get a great viewing experience. Yeah, I mean, it really does provide a sharp image, just flicking through the pictures here. It's brilliant, you can't deny it. Um, but there are already smartphones on the market with Quad HD, aren't there? Well, Note 4 has Quad HD Super AMOLED, which means it gives you much more access to the available color space. We've advanced its design screen technology that we introduced in the Galaxy Tab S only just a few months ago, and even though it's a little smaller, it still has the same Super AMOLED display capabilities. So what you're saying is it's more compact, but it's just as powerful. That's right. a great way to put it. In fact, Super AMOLED is so much better, it's really not fair to compare. But the best way to understand is for you to see it for yourself. OK, well, I think we'll keep fairness at the heart for today. Um, so I appreciate much of what you're saying really requires a head-to-head -head analysis. Um, but getting back to the real world for a minute, how is a real-life person going to notice the difference day to day? Give me an example. Well, here's a great example, multitasking. We know that people use the recent key to move between applications when they could work faster and easier if they could also use multi-window. But many users told us that they found it hard to find multi-window. So we concentrated the functions of multi-window inside the recent key, making it easier to locate and easier to use. There's so much more you can do in your daily life with Note 4's enhanced multi-window function. Take a look. This reporter, he's using his Note 4 to grab some research material and uses multi-window to prepare for an interview. OK, well, there's loads of ways you could imagine that being useful. And Rachel, if you head on over here, I'll show you another example. Please do. Wait for me. Thank you, David. That's fast. OK. I used to run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So I was talking with my friend on Google Hangouts. Okay. OK. Tina, I haven't talked to her in a while. And she says, hey, I've been traveling. Check me out on Facebook. Yeah, just checking. Nothing incriminating on there. It's a no, good start. It's, yeah. Nope. So what I can do quickly is I just swipe, and it minimizes. And I can open up Facebook to check out what she's talking about. And just to make it clear, I move it up. I have split view. So I can talk to her and see what she's talking about at the same time. And if I want to take a closer look at Facebook, I just minimize Hangouts. And you get the, the little icon at the top there? That's right. I can just move it around. And I can check out her photos more clearly. Hopefully and if I just press again, work. sometimes. Sometimes okay. Facebook yeah. will work. I won't yeah. tell anyone. It's OK. We all do. But um, I can open it back up and it's a pop out again. Well, David, I mean, you made that look really easy. Um, and one thing I noticed, you didn't use your fingers at all. It was all about the S Pen there. That's true. And I could have used my finger. But for certain tasks, the S Pen is quicker and it's more precise. OK, well, the S Pen, it's been around for a few years now. But can you tell me, I mean, why is it better than just using my finger? Because, I mean, there's the phrase, at your fingertips, and that exists for a reason, doesn't it? Well, OK, this is a big question for our category. Samsung believes that the smartphone, to be truly smart, it must have multiple ways of input. For many things that you do on your smartphone, the pen is mightier than the finger or the thumbs. You may think you know this, but the next evolution of S Pen is capable of so much more. It's the key to unlocking the full potential of the Note 4. And from the moment you take it out, you're taking the first step in unleashing that potential for yourself. And it does it in a number of original ways. S Pen has always differentiated our large screen devices from all others on the market. So we spent a lot of time improving the handwriting ability, giving S Pen much more of the sensation of writing with a real pen. You know, that sounds great, because one thing that I hear all the time is that people want the convenience of the digital, but the feeling of analog still. But that's what we've also identified. So we've doubled the pressure sensitivity from Note 3, and with this enhanced sensitivity, her highest in the industry, on-screen noting now feels almost exactly like writing. You can note at an angle, you can spin it ever so slightly, and you still get a precise response. It can note quickly, just like a real pen. And we've added two beautiful noting options, calligraphy and fountain pen. OK, so that kind of feature will be good for signing digital signatures, maybe, or pa perhaps Autograph. digital autographs. I don't know whether I can ask you two for yours later. On later, later, Rachel. Later, later, later. OK, well, you promised. We've also added a very powerful feature called Smart Select. It allows you to capture several pieces of content in a row. For example, a series of images from websites or different text messages from your favorite blogs. And you can take all of those that you've selected and save and share them with your friends via email or a text message. Now, let's see how David uses Smart Select in his demo. All right, back to me. 
So it's actually my sister's birthday today. Is it really? Yes. And Happy I'm using, birthday to your sister. I'm using the stage to, to do that, so that's a personal thing. But um, I'm thinking of sending her on a trip to Paris. Nice guy. I would that's, can I be your sister? Um, okay. It's very generous, lovely. Cool. Done. Okay, let's plan this trip. So what I'm going to do, I'm looking trip advisor, okay? And I want to send her some information. So what I do is, is I open up Air Command, and I click on Smart Select. Mm -hmm. And I can actually choose images that I want to store. Very so nice. So that hotel looks promising. And then let's get another one here. Bit of a cheaper option. Yeah, and I can actually scroll and then find another one right here. Okay, so it, it gathers all the pictures together. Exactly. So, but a part of that is I can actually go and add some other stuff from a different source. So I want to inspire her and send a picture of Paris That's right lovely. there. Iconic. Okay, and of course. It's unimaginative, I have to say. Yes. <laughs> Um, and I have to, it wouldn't be a message without a happy birthday message. Well, so. you're a lovely brother. And all those images are just shoved together. Yes, together, right here. I click back onto this smart select grouping here, and I see everything I gathered. And I can actually edit things. I can remove things right here like that. Very easy, very intuitive. Yep. And then what I can do is I can send it in an email very easily. Open up a new email. All I do is just drag and drop. Nice. And oh, that's lovely. There you go. And it's done. It's as simple as that. It's done, and you send it right away. And also, there's this. Yeah. Thank you. But S Pen can move beyond just being a pen and do some of the same things that you're used to and used to be able to doing with a mouse. So as the florist is doing, you can select several images at once by clicking and dragging, just like a mouse. And you can share them right away. I'm going to peer so, over so I can have a nose. For sure. So what we've been used to is you just click each photo that you want, right? Everyone knows that. But now you just click the button, just click and drag, and just select it. Very simple. Well, it, very simple indeed. And very, there's something lovely and familiar about it, just the same way as you do it on a laptop. Oh, that's exactly. Like, very useful. You can also do it with text. So if I say we're at a, a website, I can just click, I drag, and I can click and drag again. So you can, multi, you can copy multiple spots at once. Mm, lovely. Nice feature. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> And you're going to love how S Note uses our advanced S Pen to the fullest. We've added an S Note widget so you can access notes in four really quick ways. You can write a note, snap a note, type a note, or speak a note. So whenever and wherever you have an idea, you'll never miss the chance to make a note of it. And we found a way to write without actually having to write. For when you need to copy something very quickly, perhaps, like from a whiteboard in a meeting. You could use Snap Notes to capture the image and then edit it. I see. So just, I mean, that gives me images. If I'd have had that at uni, it would have been amazing. It would have taken away so much of the pain of lectures. If I'd have gone to lectures, I'd have used that all the time, <laughs> definitely. Um, but maybe now I'm a bit older, I might use it for my recipe book, take a, a picture and add my own notes. So maybe ne ne more chocolate next time, usually for me. Uh, right Probably on. not if I'm making lasagna. I'm, I'm digressing. You, you're right. Carry on. Yeah, Stop not the lasagna, hopefully. But SnapNote, it's a great feature, and we made it really simple. All you do is press the SnapNote button on the SNote widget and use the camera to take a picture of the info you need. And even if the picture is tilted, Note 4 adjusts the angle of the photo so that it makes it straight. Another good thing for students. Yes. In case they've had one the night before. Yep, in an auditorium. Then when you press the Convert to Edit button, that's exactly what happens. You can edit change colors, resize, or annotate the photo as you wish. I see. So you, you literally can't do that kind of thing with your finger, which is why you need the S Pen and why it really does add something extra to the smartphone. That's right. I get it. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the new S Pen. Now let's move on to our fourth category, the camera. 
Yeah, well, taking photos is such an important feature on a smartphone now. I've caught myself calling my phone, my camera, on so many occasions. Um, but this really is a competitive area of the smartphone market. And quite frankly, it's not all about the stats, is it? Well, you're absolutely right, which is why with Note 4, we're going beyond the numbers and focusing on ease of use and real quality photographs. That's why we've made Note 4 with superb cameras front and back. Note 4 has a, four, a 16 megapixel back camera with smart, smart OAS, that's optical image stabilization, and 3.7 megapixel front facing camera with an f1.9 lens. That's why when you're using your either camera on the Note 4, your photos will always be clear and bright. And you know, you can't really talk about cameras without mentioning the selfie. I mean, it's a phenomenon now, isn't it? People are taking literally millions every day. And there was even that monkey that took one. Did you see it? Yes. Uh, we want to help everyone take better selfies and more easily, even though right now, right now, we're not currently focused on the monkey market. And maybe next year. Maybe. So with Note 4, we've improved the front camera to capture up to 60% more light. So even under low light, you'll get brighter and sharper images. Right. Okay, so 60% more light. It will definitely improve the quality of photos. Um, but it won't help you take a steady shot, which is another challenge with selfies, isn't it? Exactly. So we've used the heart rate sensor on the back of the Note 4 as an additional shutter button, so you have a steady hand to take the shot. There's virtually no motion, so it doesn't generate any shake. All you do is you oh, simply hang on. cover Great, so it. One opportunity. And uncover it. <laughs> <laughs> you photobombed us. Do I get in? There you awesome. go, you made it a lot better, actually. <laughs> Love it, so better photos, better selfies, and everyone's happy. You can Photoshop me out of this later. Thanks, thanks. And of course, as this audience, audience knows, it's even more challenging to get a great Wi-Fi, like yeah. Alan did at the Oscars. <laughs> yeah, Wi-Fi. This was a new term on me, and if you haven't heard of it, then it's pretty self-explanatory. It's like a selfie, except we're all in it. The challenge, of course, with great wi is getting everyone in the shot with that outstretched arm. That's why we widened the front camera's viewing angle from 77 degrees to 90 degrees. So now you can get even more friends into the shot. And even better, we've got a wide selfie mode where you can pan the camera from left to right through 120 degrees, <laughs> giving you a brilliant panoramic shot with the front camera. You know, this is brilliant. Recently, I was on a trip with some girlfriends and we coined something that we hope we invented called the lifty. So there were 15 girls in a lift. We attempted it, it wasn't the best success, like you say, because it's just hard. So maybe the wide selfie mode would have helped us. If the lifty ever takes yeah, off, right. I'm going to use it. So we don't have a lift on stage right now, but why don't we try the wide selfie with the audience? Yes. For this audience? OK. Yeah. Well, this is going to require a bit of audience participation. So if the beautiful people could make yourselves more prominent and everyone else just duck down for this, you want a nice up. photo. Thanks, guys. OK. okay. All right, we're going to do it on three. One, two, three. Wide selfie. Cheese. <laughs> it does take a couple of seconds, so thanks for the cheers there. It's just processing. Uh, let's and check out this beautiful result. photo. Make sure I everyone can see it. Shut. It's okay. You <laughs> still look good. It's okay. Yeah. I'm not going to count. I think we should put that on social media later and count how many we people will. we got in there. We'll go through the wires. And that's the wide angle we think. Great shot. <laughs> so now let's take a look at the back camera. With 16 megapixels and high precision smart OIS, you get more stable pictures even in a shaky situation. The other benefit to Smart OIS is it shows up in very low light settings. Before with DIS, even though you got great pictures in low light, it took longer to process because the camera had to synthesize multiple pictures into one. But now with Smart OIS, you get the same great pictures, but faster. So we've introduced to you today four key aspects of our flagship product. Design, large screen and multitasking. S Pen and camera, all on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4.